Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Remothered Brooklyn Porcelain. Keep your 75 here, and this game has just gotten very interesting in the last video. If you guys are following along with me still, then please smash that like button. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. We're not even gonna take too much longer in this intro. We're gonna jump right into the game. Let's get it. What are you talking about? Why didn't you ever say anything to me? I tried to warn you. I tried to, to get you to leave. But you never understood, for fuck's sake. Why? Who do they think I am? Celeste Felton. Me? No, I, I don't know. Oh, God, Lynn, I can't remember. They found you and they brought you here to use you. And now that they are sure of who they think you are, you have to run! Fucking hell, Lynn! Just tell me! That drug. The disease. And what does that have to do with me? Ooh, we're at the bottom. Your birth mother. She used loads of it. You got it from her. It's a part of you. Your organism hasn't shown any side effects. Your body lives in harmony with it. You can even control it. And they know it. Look me in the eyes, Jen. Look at me. You mustn't do anything or trust anyone. Is this the reason why we met? Have you been pretending to be my friend this whole time? No, Jen. It had nothing to do with this. I've always been honest with you. Lynn! Lynn! Oh God, what's going on? The moth perceives the presence of a possible threat to her throne. She does everything that she is capable of to maintain control over the others. Therefore, eliminating the threat. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. That was a little craziness. All right, Father Lynn. We did. Coming from Ashman's office. Find Lynn. Uh, go into the manager's office. Answer the phone. Nothing in there. Nothing in there either. Oh, in there for that matter. That's the hide in. Can't go in there. Jeepers, that's the hide in. See moth key. Good thing I'm doing some looking around because we wouldn't have found anything. Can I actually get out of here? No, nope, it's locked. Another moth key. Sweet. Just doing a quick sweep, guys. You never know all this stuff I'm finding. Take that. Thank you very much. In the bottle. Thank you very much. We need the bottles. Give me that. That's the speed. I need that speed. 
Close that. Open that one. What's in the oh, the box? I don't need that. Can I go to there? No. All right, so that's the manager's office, but hold on a second. There is a whole lot of stuff to look through here. Like, like what's that? No, 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 no. Open it. Open, 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 open. What is that? It's a brick. Oh, that's a brick. Okay. What can we? No, nothing. Okay. Um, close that. Keys is something over here. It's gotta be that white thing. Nothing. Dust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Jeez. Can't you see? I'm looking for stuff. room key nothing in his office be another way then I just find the keys can't get in there I thought that's what we just found was that. How do you find another way in? Ah, oh, goodness. Let's take a look in there. There's a window right there. Desk. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get in there. We can't go through here. That's locked. Lynn? Lynn! Oh, crap. Can't get out. Check. You see the passages? No. There's nowhere else for me to go. I have to go up.
Okay, but what's way up there? I don't think I've been up there before. No, close. Close. Moth key. Yeah. Missing. Okay. Get some rope. Though I still cannot, uh, oh, we want this brick. This rope. Okay. We want the rope down there. No, I ain't jumping over that railing. All right, it looks like we're going through here. Damn, it's locked. Okay, maybe not. That one. Correctly now, this is um, you know where I am. This is where the phone is. Scissors, shovel. We want the shovel. thing was took his food it's locked again I'm still dragging around this lice infested suitcase. I've had it since I was at the Flemington Institute. Can't go out there. Oh my god, Jen, you look like hell today. All right, I, uh. does nothing. Hey, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't kind of lost. Like, what to do here?
nowhere to go. I feel like it's got something to do with this right here. It did nothing and I wasted it. I think maybe I can just jump, like, crawl through there, not jump. But, uh, <clears throat> I don't even see where to go here. Like, yeah, the keys that I just found here, but it ain't doing anything. Like, I can't get in here. no other choice but to go upstairs really I looked over everything over here The only thing I can think of is to go to the abandoned wing right now and play with my clothes, with my perks. Find the keys from the manager's office, go into the manager's office, find Lynn, go to room 211, and find... Ah, uh, alright. Go to... Use the telephone in the lounge room, ask for help. External calls only to other hotel rooms. Two eleven. Lounge room. That's the lounge room. 
to 12 to 13 to 11 must be this way. to 11. Oh, it's this way. What's that? That was just a bottle. I'm saving. Two elevens over here. So I can't pick it up. Thirty five, okay. Improves the ability to block doors to keep stalkers away. Adds a chance to acquire, uh, increases range and duration of highlighted effect. Um, noise movement is reduced. Noise from movement reduced by another 20%. Huge reduction in difficulty of the hiding spot minigame. Um, what does it say? Huge reduction in difficulty, oh. Definitely, oh, that took everything? Oh. Hey, okay. I didn't want that much. for damn sure. Alright. Alright, that's the laundromat. 211's gonna be done this way. Like right here. Oh shit. We'll go to room 11 and find the keys to the manager's office. Okay.
right, so now we uh, use the telephone in the laundry room, ask for help, find Lynn, uh, go to the man. What do you mean, ask for help? Who am I calling asking for help? Two eleven, two twelve, two thirteen. Dial star um, two ten. Followed by floor number and room number. Um, dial room followed by that. Da, da, da. No external calls. I don't. I don't get it. Can I do this? by a second. Wait, what's that? Maybe they left a voicemail. An old photograph in memory of when the Rosso Gallo farm was established prior to its transformation into the Ashman Inn. Launch of Rosso Gallo and the partnerships of Phenoxo Associates. Just doing a quick search, guys. You know the drill. Celeste Felton, this is, this is me. It feels like an eternity has passed since I ran away from home. Well, we read that before, so we know she is the girl. Moth key, thank you. Just fell. The Ashmans, 
I wonder if they were aware of all the abuses caused by their son to his little sister. Mom! Dad! Is this what you were looking for? Mr. Ashman! Uh oh. Lower that gun! I don't want to hurt you. It's not my intention. Why won't you let me go then? I have no choice, Celeste. I am not Celeste! Quit the act! You're the only one who can stop it! Please, Mr. Ashman, I beg of you, let me go. You're exactly the same as your slutty mother! That disgusting bitch! Phenoxyl made her lose her mind! She had to get in the way! I loved Ariana! Why did she keep this apart? Mr. Ashman... She had to be shown who was the real man! Did she not learn her lesson when I fucked her?! Um... Okay, so he's the new villain. The fire extinguisher. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. Hey, you! Come here! Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Ow, ow. Come on! Are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me? It's so hard. Mom! The fire extinguisher! Maybe I can use it to my advantage. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a good running! So that's where you were hiding! Stop, you little coward! Oh. The Acheronchia, the most fascinating creature on the planet. It can communicate with others of its kind, even from great distances. It works. Imagine if we could create a bridge between the human mnemonic apparatus and the communicative system of those beings, with rapid impulses and synapses, a transmission of images without the use of senses, that would be telepathy, miss. But most insects need a leader to guide them. Take bees, for example. They have a queen to guide them. Very good. That's what the hypnosis was for. During the hypnosis, the metronome Oops. is only a tool. <laughs> the ticking is interpreted as a gentle flapping of the wings. But the real Queen Bee, or should I say Mother Acherontia, was... Whoever was hypnotizing others. Bingo. And he would have had complete control over them. The Phenoxyl was able to fill in substantial memory gaps, formed by the removal of a particular event, such as traumas from one's memory. But why Celeste, then? That damned mother of hers, who was making regular use of Phenoxyl during her pregnancy, managed to pass on to her an extraordinary gift, a special power. Do you not understand, Reed? Celeste was born a queen bee. So well, she's a queen bee. Ah. Run. I am disgusted by you and all the girls of your generation. I will rip your head off and throw it in the freezer. Hang her. This is all yours. Do what you want. Young lady, did your mother tell you that you were born because I fucked her? <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> uh, it was never enough for that fucking whore. The hypnosis, the drugs, her daddy's money, and the company. No. 
She stole from me the woman I loved. And if that wasn't enough, she stained my family's name. And what about you? Wasn't fucking your sister enough for you? Don't you dare talk about Gloria that way! You're a fucking monster! Admit it! They kept her isolated, far away from anyone, just so that she couldn't spill all of your dirty family secrets! You don't know shit! And when it all started to resurface, you decided it was time to shut them up! Maybe by lighting it all up! Shut up! <laughs> it's the most idiotic story I've ever heard. Did your dearest father tell you that in reality he was a woman? That he married the woman that I loved just to keep up the act? That at just 10 years of age, his father stuffed him with meds? You weren't adopted! You best convince yourself that Felton is your biological mother! Give up! There's nothing you can do! <laughs> Or else you might die frozen. I know you can hear me. You can do it. Concentrate. Release what you are holding inside of you. You are a Mother Acherontia. The moths are listening to you. What you have is not an illness, it's a gift. A gift. Use it. You can do it. Using moth power. Jennifer's moth eye ability allows you to take direct control of moths. Use left, uh, right directional to activate the moth eye and use R2 to navigate. Uh, moths are very versatile and can be used to interact with specific objects or can be used to temporarily distract the stalker so you can sneak by. Beware though, the moth eye lasts for a brief period of time and you will need to wait some time before using it again. Time to get out of here. I did it! I did it! I can't believe I did it! I have to leave at once, sir. Quick, it's coming from the cold room. I think the lights went out. They're coming! Sir! The girl! I can't find her! Kiss my ass, dickhead! Ladies and gentlemen, I know this is an awkward uh, place to do this, but I have run out of uh, options here. Hopefully he goes away. I might be older than you, but believe me when I say I rarely give up. I can't take it anymore. We thought we could stop them, to stop the parasite from spreading, and instead, it all turned against us. That was close. I have to be careful from now on. Run away from the restaurant. Okay. All right, I did it. My little sister, Gloria. She too had become like the others. She had to die. All right, I'm just gonna really quickly take this stuff. The 
Just so I have it. The moth key. Alright, we got some of that. We got that. I don't know what the hell. Alright, I see what's going on here. I think I ran by something over here too. Right there, corrosive. Alright, corrosive protectant. Mouth key. Brick. Some of that. Alright, we are we are going places, guys. She can't help us. Alright, we are uh, we're doing big things. So anyways, let's uh let's come out here and uh I'm gonna end this video. So it's, that's just a knife. So with all that being said, if you guys are enjoying this craziness, this is actually turning out to be somewhat of a good game. And if you guys are enjoying it as much as I am playing it, then please smash that like button. And please consider subscribing to my channel, guys. Please, we're almost at 500 subs. I only need a 10 more, and we hit 500 subs, and I can run a giveaway for you guys. So I know out of the 490 subscribers I have, I'm sure you guys have a few friends you can tell about my channel. So, uh, so let's get me there, guys. All right? So, uh, with all that being said, I will see you all in the next one. I am Keepy75, and peace.